you do what your finger is doing. Because <laughs> I'm like, it's Come going. Let's test that theory. <laughs> I didn't know what I was gonna do, so I just did that. So, welcome to Feed Me Fridays. Um, my name is V. Lewis, Nessa, Louis, whatever you guys wanna call me, as long as you remember me. So I'm here with VX2TV Food Channel, and today we are going to be cooking, no, sorry, baking. Can you guys guess? No, I'm not, I didn't know what I was cooking, but this is what I'm gonna cook. Baked vegan falafels with some uh, garlic tahini. But there's something else in the garlic tahini, I just don't remember. Lemon. Lemon. Garlic, lemon, tahini. Those seem to be good. <laughs> stay tuned. Well, you're staying tuned because you're gonna watch it, obviously. But stay from the beginning to the end because I just might blow this shit up because I don't know how to fucking cook. Before we go any further, before I forget, click that subscribe button, like and share this video with all your friends because I know you want to be like, she's like an airhead that I love. Why doesn't the world see more of her? So share it and then tell everybody that you love me or hate me and watch me. Whatever reason, just watch me. And turn your post notifications on so you never miss an episode of oh. I would never miss anything about me, but whatever. Okay guys, so now we're gonna start. So over here we have two cups of chickpeas which have been soaking for about 24 hours. The longer the better, 48 hours, probably the best. So wait, first, before everything, open the blender. So yeah, like I was saying, we got two cups of chickpeas. I have no idea how this looks like two cups, but it's two cups. Sorry, two cups minus like 10 chickpeas. I think this is cilantro, but it's not cilantro. It's one cup of parsley. Make sure, wash it, because if you don't wash it, you're gonna eat it and it's gonna be like sandy, so we don't want that. Unless you like the sandy flavor, which I don't like it. It literally feels like sand in your mouth. Next one is garlic. You're gonna cut up about four, I would say is the good one, so get for it. Literally try to chop it up as much as you can, because the more it's chopped up, the easier it is to blend. Okay, make sure I get this all in there. I feel like if you're serving this to guests, use a fork or something. It just looks more hygienic. Because it's just me eating it. Oh, my chickpeas are over here. Put that in there. And then over here, we have four jalapenos. No, sorry. Two jalapenos. Chop them up as much as you can. If you put more, it's going to be more spicier. So that's all up to you. And then the last one. One onion. This is legit one onion. Chop it up, you're probably gonna cry. Doesn't matter. If your husband walks in, just be like, you pissed me off. That's why I cry. Put it in there, make sure it's all in there. So now I have these two fancy things over here. So I'm gonna put, where is it? Sorry. I'm gonna put two tablespoons of cumin. I'll have you open this. Oh, open right here. Okay. Okay, I don't have a tablespoon, so I'm gonna guess. Mm, about a little bit of this. Tablespoons, guys. A little bit of that. About, no, some more. That looks right. And now we are going to put salt and Himalayan pink salt. I just saw this, I was like, oh, it's pink. I'm gonna use it. Literally, you can do this up to whatever you want. If you like a more salty, more this and that, do what you want. And I just go. I shouldn't throw a lot of it. This is a very big thing. I'm just gonna keep doing it. I like my food salty. Black pepper, not so much. I don't like this too much. So I'm gonna do like one, two, a million, whatever. It looks good. So once that is all done, we are going to close this. You guys are probably watching this and thinking. What is she coming up with? I don't know. I'm actually pretty interested in what it's gonna look like. So, nope, that's release. Okay, power. Uh, three. Guys, 
if this happens, which it probably will happen, just go inside and make it work. Oh shit. So guys, I had some technical difficulties over here. I, instead of pulsing, I just kept blending it. So if you look at the bottom, this is pure hummus. Up here, it's just a bunch of stuff. So I had to go in there and like mix it up. Check. Okay, let's go, pulse. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> okay guys, so you're gonna pull this out. And now, we're gonna take it off, we're gonna leave it here, and I'm gonna preheat the oven to 375. Let's see what that is right now. Okay guys, now that we have the mix over here just waiting, I have preset the oven to 375. Right now it's at 181, it takes a few minutes, so don't worry, relax, because it's gonna take a while. So just grab the parchment paper, spread. You can do it less if you wanna like be kinda like, eh, put it more, because more goes a lot longer. So just <laughs> okay, that works out. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, make sure it's all in here. Oh, okay, it's in here. I like to make sure everything fits in here. So everything's fitting in here. Okay, so now I'm gonna, oh wait, wash your hands, guys, because if you don't wash your hands, we don't know where your hands have been. I don't know where my hands have been. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go. So, no, just go, just go right in there. Okay, this is interesting. Growing up, if you ever play with like Play-Doh, this is what it feels like. But like, I like to be extra, so I'm like big ones. I'm like, no, because big is gonna turn into extra big. So let's be reasonable and make it into golf ball size, because it will become the size you want it to become. Okay, so there's one. And for all those women who have uh, nails, you're definitely gonna have some uh, flavor saver after, because this is definitely gonna get up in there. If you're feeling adventurous, make some hearts. I don't suggest it, but do it. Oh, no, it's getting there. Okay, let's make this quick. So clearly, my recipe was more than a pan. Spread it out over here. Okay, let's go. Life is just so amazing. You never know what's gonna happen. So guess what, guys? Last falafel roll. Right there. Look at that one. Okay, guys. <laughs> so now we gotta walk over to the oven. Do not make a mess like I did. Sorry, before we go to the oven, I forgot. What a flatten them down. Not too much, just like 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 a little smack. Like. Oof. <laughs> I'm like, look at my one fucking tits. Okay guys, so now that we have planted them on the paper, we've squished them out, we are gonna take them to the oven for about not not for about four fifteen minutes and after fifteen minutes, we're gonna pull them right back out. Flip them around and another 15 minutes. So let's go. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm, I'm all about doing one trip, so let's go. Before you do this, make sure nothing is in the oven. Because that would just be a fucking kick in the balls. And for the women who have eyelashes, be careful because they will burn your eyelashes. I've had that happen before. Just slide it right in there. Okay guys, so now that the falafel is in the oven baking, we are going to start the dip. It is gonna be a lemon garlic tahini dip. I have all the ingredients in front of me. So to start this off, we are gonna mix the tahini, which is one cup, and then we're gonna mix it with the water. I would say about one half of a cup of warm water. So I'm gonna pour it in there. Okay guys, so I thought I had done half a cup. I did not, I did a quarter of a cup. So it clearly does not work, but Instead of putting more water, I'm just gonna finish it off with the lemon. If I need more, I'll add the water. So, don't cut your fingers. 
Make sure you got a sharp knife. If you don't got one of these, just grab a spoon and like squeeze your lemon. <laughs> Why'd I pay for my trainer? Okay, that half's done. Nope, there's more in here, I can feel it. <laughs> Guys, don't feel like silly if you don't know how to do this because this is an art. You have to know how to squeeze lemons. This is hard. I feel like you guys should do this for me. This is actually hard. Okay, now let's... Okay, so we got the lemon in there. Clearly. So now I'm gonna mix it around. Add water. I don't know if I need water. You think so? Let's see. I haven't mixed it all in there. I definitely need water. I'm gonna add about half. So now I've literally now I've done half a cup of water. We're gonna do this like for the millionth take. So the falafels are in the oven. They've cooked, I don't know, they're out. They've been sitting there for like about half an hour because I'm trying to work on this lemon garlic tahini dressing. So, we're gonna start with one cup of tahini, which is in here. <laughs> As we can all see, there's one cup. So then, it's super thick, so we're gonna wanna add some water in there. And then I added a quarter cup of water, which I thought would have been sufficient enough. I started mixing it around, and then I squeezed one entire lemon in here, maybe thinking like the lemon would like add more to it. It didn't, so then I added half a cup of water in here. And I think I've hit the like consistency or like the thickness that I wanted. So yeah, yep, it's good. So then in here I added uh, chives. That's what I added. Tablespoons. So yeah, it was two tablespoons. I I didn't chop them up. Someone else chopped them up for me. They chopped them up. Now they're in here. Mixing them in here. See? Okay. So the lemon's over here. The fly's still here. And now I'm going to do. Originally, this was four cloves or cloves of garlic. They chopped it up. So there you go. Because they know me, I'd probably chop my fingers. So yeah. So there's going to be two tablespoons of uh, chives. I want to say cloves, but chives. And uh, four garlics. So everything's in there. So we're going to mix it all up in there. Don't worry, there's more ingredients coming up. I don't know what's coming up, but something's coming up. Yeah, looks good. So now we're going to put black pepper corn. I'm gonna put half a tablespoon. Well, oh, I don't have a tablespoon, so I'm just gonna do this. Is it even working? So if you like it peppery, just put a lot of it. It's supposed to be like a bowl. One half of a tablespoon. Turning the other way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if, <laughs> if nothing's coming out, guys, chances are. But it's the other way. Wow, look at that. It's like magic. Yeah, that looks about right. It's all out in there. Okay, so now that's in there. Now I'm gonna do the Himalayan pink salt. Where does this come from? Google it, because I don't know where it came from. I'm supposed to do one tablespoon. I don't know what that is. Nope, wrong way. So now I'm gonna shake the shit in here. I know I'm missing something in here, so whatever, I'm just gonna keep stirring it. Someone's pointing at me saying you're missing something. Let me think about it. Sesame oil. Oh, sesame oil. Oh, look at this, it's over here. Tablespoon, teaspoon. Half, half a teaspoon? That's so, that's so small. Bloop. So after this is done, you're gonna put it in the fridge for 30 minutes, cause then it's gonna, I guess, thicken up. And then it's ready to serve with your falafels. So falafels are gonna be served cold. So make this prior to making your tahini. No, prior to making your falafels. So, sorry, so now we got the dip over here. 
and you guys can just drizzle it up on top, make a nice little presentation over here. I'm like traditional, just go like this, dip it. No, sorry, do this. And you just put them nicely over here so people can literally just go in there and get as much of the dip they want. So put that, so much loving. So I just put that one over there. But if you want to, just literally make it your own. Nah, I'm not into that. <laughs> so voila, we got some baked vegan falafels with some lemon garlic tahini. Let me dig in and try. But I don't want to ruin my presentation, so wait. Not that bad. Mmm, so good. This tastes very healthy. <laughs> I need some more dip. <laughs> yeah, it's just stay tuned. I hope you guys like it as much as I like it. <laughs> I don't know how to rate it. <laughs> <laughs> it's I don't know. I need a cup of water. <laughs> Gotta get it in there. Okay, it's in there. It is very healthy. It's so dry. The drier, the healthier. <laughs> so, oh, like. if your falafels taste like this, delicious, I would um, probably blend it a little bit more because I'm biting into it and I can still taste some chickpeas in it. But I like the crunchiness. So yeah, I hope you guys learned something because I definitely did. You know what I learned? I don't know how to cook. <laughs> my mom's gonna be very impressed. And my future husband, I'm very sorry. Don't forget, click subscribe, like the video, share it as much as you want, cause I know you're gonna wanna share this. And then click on the notification so every time my dumbness wants to make some recipe, you guys can keep watching it. Okay guys, so, stop. Okay. Hey guys, there's no look at me. Okay.